Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I have an awesome video for you guys. Here I have the TOD-10N. I'm going to be doing an unboxing, first impressions, and maybe like a little sound test for you guys. So without further ado, let's uh, jump right into this. I'm trying to do this as quietly as possible. So I did purchase this from Sweetwater. So if you're interested to see how the guitar comes when you order it from them, this will give you a good idea. A little packaging phone. Classic box in a box. And uh, it does have like a little safety thing here saying, when you get the guitar, make sure you wait 24 hours so it can get acclimated and the wooden finish won't crack. So, it's a pretty standard procedure for any new guitar you get from somewhere else. Yeah, Ibanez acoustic guitars all over this bad boy. Little staples here and there and a bunch of tape all around here so let's crack right into this uh there was little packaging foam on both ends of the box by the way so in case you are concerned about the safety of your guitar all right this is the first time i've ever seen this A box in a box in a box. It might be what's happening here. And I think this is just like a like a buffer box. Partition TOD body end. I think it's just another way to keep the instrument safe. I think we're at the final level here. As you can see, it's all boxed up. Would have been pretty solid if it came with a case of some sort, but it does not seem to be the case. You got your documentation. So they would give you an Allen key for the truss rod. Limited lifetime Ibanez warranty. Another protection box. And there she blows. You have an Ibanez quality check inspection there. Now, what would it choose? Sweetwater 22 point inspection guarantee. And oh man, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Golly. Alright, let me uh, get all this cleaned up and I'll sit down and kind of go over the guitar with you guys. Alright, so just a quick little close up of the guitar here. As you can see, that is the Tree of Death inlay. That's Tim Henson's signature fretboard inlay. 
Uh, it's kind of a playoff of the Tree of Life that Steve I usually uses. Uh, you have these very classy looking tuners here that I think look absolutely amazing. And the wood actually isn't like a flat black. Uh, I don't know if you could see here, but you could kind of see some, some grainage there, if you will. And every time I saw one of these guitars, I thought that little slot was the sound hole. Uh, but it's actually just for the tress rod cover. You do have the sound that comes through right there. So it's angled literally right at your face and sounds pretty great acoustically. Uh, there's also this binding that comes all the way around the guitar and it's a nice pearly kind of classy beautiful look you got gold uh, strap little uh, knob thingamajiggers uh, there is a pickup in here so you can plug it in and it comes with a onboard tuner and all of that nice hardware there I have heard of uh, issues with these bridges popping off for some reason, but everything looks completely fine on this model. And you do have that Sweetwater warranty. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention is uh, right out of the box, uh, I don't know how much you can tell, the action is pretty high on mine. So I might mess around with the truss rod, uh, but we'll see. Uh, maybe it'll just take a little bit of getting used to. Um, but yeah, here is what you've all been waiting for. All right, we all know what song I'm gonna have to play here. All right, I don't know how to play that song, but... Uh, it's definitely going to be on my to-do list now that I have this bad boy. How do I think it sounds? Now I've never owned a nylon string guitar before. But it really is like the most unique sounding and a feeling thing to play on that I've ever touched. I feel like now I want to like rewatch Coco and learn Remember Me or something because like the it's like a really nice like Mexican New Age Mexican vibe. I, I really don't know how to explain it, but this thing feels and sounds pretty amazing. So the price on this was like, uh, I'll put it right here somewhere around like $700. Uh, I would say the biggest issue is the wait time on these guitars. I pre-ordered mine literally like the hour that they were out and I just got it maybe like two weeks ago um, from today's date of me posting this video and I could only imagine how long the wait times are now. I've seen on Sweetwater that they have been um, kind of like selling floor models here and there uh, so if you really want like a demo model if you want one that fast uh, it is definitely possible to get one, but I do think if you don't get this guitar, they came out with uh, two other ones that are literally the same exact thing, minus all the accoutrement uh, with the guitar, just like a solid uh, spruce or something too, just very generic colors, but they look very nice, and overall, I do think that this is a guitar that you'll want in your um in your little toolbox of guitars. Okay, let's see, the only Polyphius song I know how to play, I'm still getting used to this, uh, this neck here. Uh, by the way, this neck honestly feels like a chunky, like Les Paul neck. Like it reminds me a lot of 
uh, my Les Paul standard that I have the 50s uh, so definitely a little chunkster uh, but I kind of I kind of like that so let's see how this goes all right let's see how this goes this time okay let's see how this goes this time like six times I got that one uh, little clip so yeah but honestly this guitar is absolutely oops <laughs> absolutely amazing and if you guys can get your hands on one I really think you're gonna enjoy it thing I want to hit on is uh, the harmonics on this thing are incredible like I, I'm literally really not even putting that much effort in hitting those all right well that's really all that I have for you guys today uh, the only kind of knock I'll have on it as you can see, I'm a greasy little guy, and this does show uh, some grease spots here and there. Uh, maybe it'll just give it character over time, but yeah. All right, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, please leave a comment down below. If uh, you want to help support the channel, just leave a like, sub, and comment. Other than that, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Catch you in the next one. Later.